Hello everybody, Sparkster1701 here. It's time to do another Generation 1 Transformer review. And the, now we're coming upon ones that I know are about as universally despised by the fandom as the Action Masters. But, unfortunately, since I did say at the beginning of this, I was going to review everybody. So that means, every so often, we've got to do somebody that very few people like. So, here we go. We're going to review Cloudraker and Fastlane, the Autobot clones. The Autobot clones were released in 1988, and they were sold together in a two-pack. They would be discontinued, thankfully, in 1989, one year later. Well, let me double check that. I'm questioning whether I gave you the right year or not. Was it 87 or 88 when they came out? I was wrong. It was 87 when they came out, so they would probably still be on the shelves in 88. I was a year off. I apologize, folks. They came out in 1987. Unfortunately, they'd still be with us in 1988. And finally disappearing from the toy shelves by 1989. Now, the gimmick of the clones was to create two identical-looking robots to confuse the enemy with, but they would have unique alternate modes. The idea behind the gimmick was to also go with the dual rub sign bit. Hold your arms down. The lower rub sign here, a spot I will not mention in case children are watching, is the normal rub sign that would give you the faction. The one up here, you could rub to reveal their alternate mode. But of course, if you really wanted to tell the alternate mode, you could usually do it easier, simply, by turning the toys around. Yeah. We're going to take a look at each clone individually, so we'll start here with Fastlane. Fastlane is often described as the younger brother of the two Autobot clones. So he's rash and impulsive and likes to go at full speed and seems to come off as the likable of the two. How that works is beyond me. As far as articulation goes, he's pretty limited when compared to his brother in the fact that the only articulation he has is he can rotate his arms at the shoulder. And of course, they both have joints here at the wrist, so that does allow him to move the hands a little bit. And of course, for the transformation, he can move his arms inward at the shoulder. But I don't recommend messing with the way the fists are, as they're locked in pretty snugly, and they don't really give you enough to grip to pull them out when they're tucked in the arms, so... I'd recommend avoiding that, folks. As far as articulation goes on the leg, you can move the ankles out, but that's more, again, to transform him. You really can't do anything with him. All right, now, to transform Fastlane into his alternate mode, we start by removing his guns and setting them aside. The next thing, and then they would next tell you to rotate the fists inside the arm, but I'm not going to do that because they are a pain to get in and out. And with how bad the alternate modes are on these guys, having them in or out ain't going to make that much difference. You would next grab onto his head and pull it up a bit. It's supposed to come up. Yep, there it goes. Raises up just like that. 
and you would fold the arms up onto his chest. The next you will rotate the head and the spoiler. First you'd rotate the spoiler so that it comes out more, then you rotate the head around. Then you'll fold in out the feet and slide the legs up all the way. And there you have Fast Lane's alternate mode, a dragster. Now, if any of you can see a dragster in this, you're obviously seeing something that I ain't. Now, granted, they were doing more future, quote-unquote, futuristic or Cybertronian designs, but... I still don't see it. There's about his only good point, folks. He does roll very well across the table here. Maybe if you've got a kitten, it'll keep him entertained. Now let's move on to his older brother, Cloud Raker. Cloud Raker is the stern, straight lace type. More responsible. But he's also extremely claustrophobic in the sky. He can't handle being trapped and confined on a gravity, but in gravity. So he always, whenever the fear gets to him, he's got to fly up as far up as he can. Try to achieve escape velocity and get out where he has no gravity to worry about. Or no confinement at all. But his jet mode isn't built for that, so he oftentimes ends up crashing and hurting himself. Seriously, who the boop wrote this stuff? As far as articulation goes, he does have the same as his little brother on the arms. The arms rotate all the way. He can bring the arm in there at the shoulder. And he does, can rotate at the wrist. But he does have, because of his transformation, he does have a hip joint that does allow the legs to move out a little bit. So, in a funky way, he can do some wicked kicks. Or you can make him... Join the Olympics gymnastics team, as he can do splits. Now to transform him, we start by removing his guns. Probably the best thing we've done for him so far. And then again, the next step, like on his brother, would be to fold up the arms and fold the wrists in. We're not going to do that, because there you are, a pain. You would next fold his arms onto his chest, then fold down his feet. Then you would swing his legs all the way back behind him. For some yoga. And underneath him, as you can see, there's a couple of black wings. You just fold those out. Like so. And then next, you're going to push his head inward. Just going to bring a piece out from between where his legs were. Again, we'll refrain from stating where that is. And you fold out the cockpit. And this is the jet mode. Forget being able to achieve escape velocity. How the boop does this thing fly? I mean, 
The only thing it's got going for it is that it does, when you're holding him by the foot, he does swoosh pretty good here. But it's going to take a fair amount of imagination to make this thing fly. I don't get it, folks. Okay, let's take a look at their accessories. We'll start with the accessories for Cloud Raker. Cloud Raker comes with two of these red guns. They're both exactly the same. They are referred to as gravity rod rifles. And they're pretty plain. I mean, we got a sight at the end of them, so that's not too bad, but they still look pretty, pretty thin. And don't really look that intimidating at all. Now for his brother Fastlane. Fastlane has two of these guns. They're known as Sonic Boom Rifles. And aside from the large fin on the back to be something reminiscent of a sight, there really isn't much going for that either. And then, of course, lastly for Fast Lane, he does have his spoiler. The spoiler is removable. It is very easy to remove. As you can see, it's just a piece of black plastic with a big sticker on it. You got a nice post here. That's how it connects to his head. And that's it, really, folks. That's all you get. Moving right along now, we're going to take a look at their instructions. And you'll notice right away, it doesn't give their names down here, it just lists Autobot Clones. And then we move right on in, and you get to take a look at the toys, and what they came with. They even drew them to look alike here on the instructions, but even if he didn't have the spoiler on, you can tell visibly they don't look alike. And you'll also notice they don't list the spoiler as one of the pieces. And then we start by doing Fast Lane as an attack robot before we start transforming Fast Lane into a dragster. And then we go to the back side. Shows how to arm Cloud Raker and convert him into a jet. And then we get into the decal applications. They had quite a lot, surprisingly. And then we get into the usual stuff that's still available at this time. Since they came out in 1987, they still had the rub sign, so there was the instructions for it. There was also the mentioning of collecting and saving your robot points and how to read your text back. All essential good stuff you needed for your toy. Now, for these guys, we actually have the box. Now while the thing showed them uh, in robot mode, which is probably how they were packaged in the box, we don't have the inner weaponry, the inner packaging. But as you can see, the box uh, uses more their alternate modes to promote them. Which of course, I mean, while this picture does make Cloud Raker's jet look pretty cool, you still, when you look at this car mode, for fast lane and go, what the boop is that supposed to be? And 
Then you get up here on the top, you can see the transforming. Which doesn't look any better. Down on the bottom, you get the usual stuff. Of course, they shorthand it to go. The parts list as four rifles. They also forgot, they also committed a grammar error in here, a punctuation error, because they forgot to include a comma here. Then on the side, you get two pictures of the robots with their alternate modes down below them. Same thing here on this side of the box. And here we have the back of the box with them heavily promoting the Headmaster toys with this mural. And we get down here would be the barcode and there would have been robot points but somebody stole them off this box which is perfectly fine. And as you can see each guy got his own tech spec. So we'll start by reviewing them on the top. We'll start with fast lane. As you can see, both of them were done in red to show they were Autobots, and their pictures match the ones on the front of the box. I'm going to spare you and not turn them around, because we've belly ached about that enough. Fast Lane, it gives his function as Warrior, and his motto is, Either in you're out of my way or out of luck. A bit immature, sometimes acts like a thrill-seeking show-off. Enjoys looking for new ways to get his kicks usually makes reckless driving a way of life. So pretty much he'd fit in with most of us with how we play Grand Theft Auto. In vehicle mode, reaches maximum speed of 220 miles per hour. Maximum speed with booster jets, 550 miles per hour for no more than 5 seconds. Range, 350 miles. In robot mode, carries two sonic boom rifles. One blast can shatter foot-thick steel. Clone brother is Cloud Raker. We'll put the decoder on, and we'll take a look at his stats real quick. It gives his strength as 6. His intelligence is 3. His speed is 6, as is his endurance. His rank is 5. His courage is 9. His firepower is 7, as is his skill. So, I would say his courage and skill get so high on there due to the fact that he's too stupid to realize what exactly he's doing. Cloudraker now. It gives his function as Sky Fighter. And his motto is, gravity is the chain that binds us all. Often acts frustrated, can't reach escape velocity and achieve orbit. Extreme claustrophobe, feels the sky isn't big enough for him. Usually flies as high as he can, terrified of being on the ground. In vehicle mode, uses two gravity rod rifles to cause objects to float away or crash to the ground. Clone Brother is fast lane. Now let's see how he measures up. Once I pick the decoder up off the floor, it gives his strength a 6. His intelligence is also 6. His speed is 8. His endurance is 6. His rank is 5. His courage is 7. His firepower and his skill are both 6s. So, Cloudraker and Fastlane both come out to be average at best. Now we get down to my thoughts. What do I think of Cloudraker and Fastlane? Well, I think a certain special guest uh, that's become a favorite of ours can say it best for me in this case.
Gimmicks were always done with the toys to sell them as the years went on. This one, unfortunately, was one of the worst. The robots look great. Their alternate modes, they're terrible. They transform too simply. There's not enough fun or excitement out of them. The alternate modes look incredibly stupid. What more else can be said about them? These guys are some of the worst. Their bios are poorly written. What else needs to be said about them? Bottom tier, all the way. And that concludes my review of the Generation 1 Autobot clones, Cloudraker, and Fastlane. If you like the video, thumbs up it here on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. Please also consider liking this video and sharing your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'm sure I'm going to hear a few for these two. This is Sparkster1701 saying I will catch you all later.